Welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is October 15, 2020, and this is episode 108. Today we're looking at Robin Hood. We're in the midst of the Justice arc. This is four of six issues. It's a Zenoscope production. Uh, the story was created by Dave Francini and Chuck Dixon. The writer is Chuck Dixon, and the artwork was done by Babishu Cortis. So, um, so far it's been a fun story. Just kind of straightforward, nothing too mind-boggling, nothing too jarring, uh, nothing too woke, nothing too cringy, just fun. Um, there's a couple little jokes in here. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of fighting, which is good. There's a, a mystery going on with her friend Emmett, who she's been holed up in New York for a month. Uh, there seems to be a possession taking place with a, a creature named Synapse, or it's actually some kind of sorceress, I guess, who uh, is inside this stone golem that their friend Spriggan had to take down in the last issue. And Spriggan's a geomancer. He can turn into a big tree. I guess he can control nature, basically. He can make sands move. He can make water move. He can turn into a giant tree with roots that move, not unlike Groot. Um, just a fun character all around. And he, when he's not in that form, he's an old guy that's kind of weathered and beat up. And he says his spirit is still at 100%, but his body has been beat up quite a bit. Like I said, this is uh, four of six. Got a couple more issues to go. Robin Hood has been chased by the police. She's being chased by the evil mayor who's uh, created a... a um, army of robot policemen that are getting more sophisticated with each upgrade. Now they can fly, now they can do facial recognition, so they've got a, a formidable opponent there. Plus Synapse has taken over her friend's body and can control the stone golem that he can control. So she's been fighting that off as well. And they're kind of stuck underground in these tunnels well below well below the subways and sewers of New York. So they're trying to get back up there so they can take on the mayor. Here's the mayor here. The characters are all really drawn well in here. I love the art. The colors, colorist did a good job as well. Um, the characters, when they need to be beautiful, they're beautiful. If you know they're handsome, they're handsome. Uh, I love that. It's a calm, good escapism here. Uh, in the, the bad, the villains, they can be... You know, they can be beautiful and smart and seductive and all the great things you want in a villain. So you have that going on as well. Robin Hood's been using her her archery skills all throughout this arc to get through here. I don't think she, uses, she fires too many arrows in this issue, though. But um, mostly her friends kind of come to her aid. Spriggan, the old man Spriggan, her friend... Emily that she just met through Emmett, who was an old childhood friend. And uh, Emily has, has possessed a cape that Emmett had once, and the cape is possessed as a spirit in it named Tatter. And it, actually the cape acts as a portal, so if she puts it over herself, she can disappear from where she is, and she can also encapsulate someone else close by her and then pop out in a different area, depending on where they want to go. She's still learning how to use it, and so they don't always know where they are going to end up. They do have a battle throughout here with Synapse, and they're able to exor ex exorcise Synapse from the Golem, uh, thanks to Sprig here and his spiritual powers. It was a pretty intense scene here. And they finally were able to stop her after another battle, yet another battle after that. So um, it was a battle of the synapse in this one, but they, they overcame it and, and were able to take her down. And I just want to show you the last scene here. They kind of used the cape once more time, Emily and Robin Hood, to get out of the caverns. And they ended up, because they want to go to the police station, but they end up on the, the roof of it. And they go inside, and suddenly they realize there's no longer any policemen there. They've all been replaced by robots. And not only the mayor and these robots are here, but the arch-villain, villainous seamstress is here, seductive seamstress. So I'm not sure what she does. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's some kind of sorceress. 
So you can see here's the uh, next issue, five of six, and there's the seamstress will probably play a, a large part in this. And I'm assuming that the showdown with the mayor will be in issue six. But um, good comic, good fun. It moves right along. I, you know, I ended up, I, it usually takes me a while to get through some of these comics, but um, this one I read it probably in 10, 15 minutes. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was good. So uh, here's some other uh, Xenoscope comics real quick. We've got Grim Tales Terror, Hellfire. We've got Myths and Legends, Ares. I actually like this drawing on here. That's uh, written by Raven Gregory. The artwork is Renzo Rodriguez and colors by Fran Gamboa. So that looks actually like it might be pretty good. It's really a nice axe there. Then we have Bell. I think we've seen this before, uh, co-starring Gretel, Hearts and Minds, and then also this has been out at the stores, Grim Fairy Tales, a new arc, and it's busting out at a store near you. The Dark Book. Okay. Also Van, Hays Van Helsling versus The League of Monsters. There's another Raven Gregory and Dave Franchoni Franchini story. A conspiracy uh, that's been in the stores as well. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that we have to talk. Oh, Bell there. Bell has a new arc, Ghosts and Goblins, and then also Red a Agent with the Island of Dr. Moreau. Okay, and I think that's it. I think we went through the whole thing. We get one last shot of an ad for Van Helsling. Be the first to transform. She's fascinating. She's powerful. And soon she's you. So please like, subscribe. Obviously, this is a recommend. Please comment. Um, and I'll see you next time. This is Indie Comics Jones saying thanks for stopping by the Temple of Tomes. And as always, I bid you adieu.